Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. Everybody has taken shelter I think inside the den, but I don't think I can go in there with my mate. Can I? Or did she not go in? No, so that's Nikita. Where am I? <laughs> I don't even know. But I guess we're all just sleeping. Oh, now we can go to the rendezvous point because everybody is not 15 pounds. Wow. Okay, but you can already go to the rendezvous point because I guess they're really close, so it doesn't really matter. No. It's just showing all the rendezvous points early. Yeah, we have to get everybody to 15 pounds. I'm not sure why it's showing that yet then. But either way, we can go ahead and start looking at where we're going to go. We seriously need to mark territory, like, really badly. I might go ahead and do that before they hit 15 pounds because then, well, that's just not going to be good, having to be out of rendezvous point. A, a den, I feel like, is so much safer. And so everybody is at the den. I, um... I'm a bit worried about leaving because I haven't spent any time with the pups, so the pack affinity is like super low. But if I leave Nikita there, then it should be fine, I think. As long as she doesn't leave, and I don't think she would just leave if I'm like not there. I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. That's not gonna work. Darn. I'd even think to look at my, at my little like stats up there. Because Koda, he's just too exhausted. This sucks. That is cool to sleep in the den with everybody, but this sucks to like have to sleep and everything because our territory is just shot. It sucks so bad. And then now this is going to make it so much worse. I haven't had time to mark any territory, honestly. This is so cool to sleep with them all here, though. I've never done that before. Yeah, so our territory is still pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and get out now. And then everybody else is probably like well slept. So they're all going to get out too. I don't want her eating any of this carcass though. They're sicka. If I can, like, they're pretty well fed, actually. If I can get their affinity up, I might take- No, no, no. Oh, what if I can get Nikita to go off on her own? That would be so much better, because then we could, like, she could go out and mark territory, and then I could go out and mark territory. But I don't know if she'll leave. I need her to go. It's okay, because I got time to work on the pup's affinity, so... We can, we can do that. Yeah, she can have the carcass. They're fully fed. I'm glad that she waited at least this time. This music is so calming, though. It's just like... You're having a happy little life. That's pretty much how it makes you feel, I guess. And I really need Akita to go, though. She, I don't think she wants to go. But I really need her to. She looks restless. I can tell. She's like... Who's growling? <laughs> I never know who's growling. Look, I think it's the pups, but that is some adult growling I'm hearing. She's incredibly restless. I think she's wanting to leave, but it's hard to tell. I'm just like love spamming these pups too. It's what I always do. It just takes so long to get the affinity up if you do it any other way. Ah, look, she wants to play too. She probably just wants to leave. But she's wanting to go with me. I don't know. I don't know what she wants. She's pacing a lot. <laughs> 
Oh, he's already sleeping. <laughs> okay. They're tired. They're going to sleep. They have no more energy left. Let's just get them in the... Okay, gosh. I thought the music, like, did the little achievement thing where you got them to 15 pounds. He is so close. Kenai is 14.9. What happens... What happens if he hits it while I'm gone? That's what I want to know. I'll probably go by myself. I don't know. She'll Does she want to come with? Is she coming with? No, she decided to stay. I'm just going to take off, but I am going in the wrong direction. I need to go this way. <laughs> I need to go mark the territory that is like the worst. I have no idea what happens if the pup reaches 15 pounds while you're away. I think they would still stay in the den until you come back. I've never had a pup this close before. And then like, and then I'm just like leaving. Usually I try to like food spam them while they're, where they'll like eat and stuff. There must be like an ungulate near here. I'm not, oh, yep, there you are. A mule deer. Don't worry, I'm not gonna mess with you. And look, there's an elk. Wow, see, they're all, there's always so many. Should I just pick one up? And, no, I won't. I need to go up a little anyway. I just need to focus on marking territory. And then whenever I come back through, hopefully I can, like, find some again. The pups are, like, so well fed. I don't know how Nikita is, though. Nah, she's alright. She's about as fed as I am. For once, we're actually doing pretty good. This this playthrough has been rough. But as it starts to draw like nearer to the end of the game, the end of the game so far, it, it's gotten a lot better. You know what? I should have took Nikita with me. I really should have. Because I just realized with... The, pa the the territory hexes being so horrible this far. I don't know if we're going to end up having to fight some, like, pack wolves over it. Especially on that little hex. Well, it's only 4%, I think, of the tiny, tiny little hex. Let's kill this. <laughs> so I can eat. Sorry, bunny. You were trapped. Between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> I had to. Anyway... So yeah, one's only like 3%, so it's not that bad at all. I doubt there's going to be any pack wolves in that hex, but I don't know. There's another ungulate nearby. Yep, mule deer. That's actually quite nice. The music starts before I even like get close. And I always run like straight into the mother. Another ungulate. See? There's always so many. That's an elk one. But I guarantee whenever I come back through, there's not going to be nearly as many. I don't think I'm going to go and mark the top hexes right now. Just because I want to keep this as like a little short expedition. Just to, like, get back to the pups as quick as possible before Kenai reaches 15 pounds. Which I want- he might already be- nope, he's still 14.9. I don't know, it's like literally 0.1 of a pound away. I feel like he could just hit that, like, in his sleep. I don't know. Or maybe he needs to eat, like, just a tiny bit to, like, get there. I have no idea. There's a cougar and there's another rabbit. This, this forest is teeming with life right now. And another ungulate. I'm telling you, I'm tripping over these things when I don't want them. But the second I want them, is the second I'm not going to find any. Okay, let's see. That's good. I'm going to go up and get that 27% hex, and then the empty one, and then the 3% one. That's not even ours. Or not ours at the moment. There's another ungulate right there. 
I can see the... That's a mule deer. The thing is, I haven't seen a single pronghorn one this entire time, though. I've only seen, like, three mule deer and, like, two elk or something like that. Or three elk, maybe? It's been a lot. That I, Now that I'm counting it, oh my gosh, that's a lot of ungulates. I feel like maybe they made that a little too easy to find them, honestly. I ain't worried about rabbits. Right now. Because I'm pretty well fed, so I'm not going to bother with them. Okay, we're almost done. I, I, I gotta say... Marking territory of all things is the thing that just it's it's very tedious. It takes a long time It's very important Obviously because you got to have a good territory But my gosh, does it take a while to mark territory like a long? Long time these hexes are huge Which I guess just comes with having like a massive game. I mean, it's gonna take a while to cross the map and I, I'm not mad that the map is large. I love how big they made this map. But maybe the hexes could have been a bit smaller. You know, you could have had, like, more hexes, but smaller ones. What was that? Oh, Coyote Creek. That was three hours ago, though. Yeah, they're long since in their territory. I'm not going to worry about that. Especially being on my own, and that's at least two wolves right there. There's also somebody howling super close by. I think those were coyotes, though. Okay, let's see. Which way are we going? Okay, this way. I swear, no, one was definitely a wolf. There's no way that was a coyote howl. And then I have, like, no energy left. Koda is exhausted, and he just wants to sleep. And then we're gonna do a little howl to just try to like perk up all the territory around us, which is I, I think that's what it does. There, and then now our territory is looking pretty good. And then I might just head straight back to the den. <laughs> I might just go straight back. I could go a little up north and try to get a few more hexes. Look, okay, this time I actually need it. Where are you? But I'm not going to go up north because I don't want to and because it will, it will take longer. Hello, mother. As much as I would love to find this ungulate, this is in a really bad spot to be doing this. There's not really any grassy spots, actually. I found one. Where is she? Where did she go? There she is. There's not really many grassy spots here at all, actually. Unless it's hiding in one of these. I always thought they should be hiding in these. These are my favorite little plants in the game. They really are, because they're so cute and realistic-like. And this would make it so much harder to find the calves. I mean, where could this thing be hiding? When there's barely any grass near us. that That's my question. And I keep losing... Okay, this is too hard. Nope, I'm not doing it. I don't even know where she is. There she is. Yeah, I'm not doing it. We're, we're leaving. She picked a very good spot to be hiding her calf. Because that is just a horrible area to be looking there's so many rocks and other, like, vegetation, and then there's, like, hills and everything. Cougar, we're not gonna mess with you. Don't worry. That's just a horrible spot to find- Oh, okay, rock. To find the calf. What I need to do is I need to go up more in, like, like a meadow or something, or, like, a little valley. Not over here, because this, this is not- right but it looks like ahead of us there's like all 
mountain. I, I think I took like the wrong way back. I definitely did because this isn't the way I came. But hopefully we can find some more ungulates to take back. Not that we especially need it. But especially since I'll have to like carry it with us to the next, to the rendezvous point. Okay, there is somebody howling so much right now. And I swear it's coming from that direction. And they just keep howling over and over again. But the scents are coming from this direction, are they not? And I'm not getting any sense about anybody. It might just be a dispersal. I don't know, but he's in my ear. Literally, it's like... I can hear him only in my left ear because I have headphones on. And he's just... Just right there, just howling. It feels like he's incredibly close. It's so freaky. And he has such a deep howl, too. He must have been close. I don't know who that was. But we ain't gonna fight him right now. I wouldn't even have the energy for it, honestly. I didn't even realize how tired I was getting. And so when we get home to the den, we'll just have to sleep, basically. And then by then, Kenai will be 15 pounds. Okay, here we go. Finally. See, if I just talk and talk and talk, <laughs> then one will show up. But if I'm quiet, nothing will happen. Hello again, except I never met this one. <laughs> Let's find some grass. This one is a, again in a very hard spot. It's it's very hard to even keep track of her because the trees absolutely block my view. Where is she? She's right there. No wait, is that her? Yes, it is. She happened to be right there. I was actually looking at like this bunch of twigs or something right next to her. And thought that was her, but hey, it ended up being like her like so close anyway, so it doesn't matter. If that makes sense. <laughs> it barely makes sense to me, so. See, see, you see what I'm saying? There's like no grass over here. Where on earth is she hiding this baby? What was that? Is that one lone elk or something? Where did it go? That was definitely an elk. It's a herd. Why is she by herself? I definitely saw it just now, though. Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. What's going on here? Oh, they must have all just, like, just passed by. But I saw one by itself. That's so weird. Oh, moose calf. Okay. Okay. Can we do this? That would be even better. Even though we don't technically need it. The thing is... It's heading back to the den. So that that's good. That's good. Because if I, I have to call... Okay. I have to call Nikita to do this. Because I can't do it by myself. Especially being as tired as I am. But I don't know if we can do this before our pack affinity drops. I don't know. Okay, these things must be running or something because they're like incredibly separated. Oh wait, no, here they are. Hello, fellas. Will you run? Can I make them run if I like... In if yeah, right. Good luck intimidating a moose. I don't know if I can make it run or not. I'll have to wait for Nikita. I would love to make it run a bit and get closer to the den, honestly. Why is she, like, kind of heading toward me a little bit? It's, it's freaking me out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she ain't playing. She's not playing. Don't you worry. I have some help coming on the way. I got somebody coming. I want to go in and nab it, but there's no way. I do not want to get hurt again. Especially this close to, like, getting to the rendezvous point. 
There's no way I want to do that. Honestly, I'm moving them further away from the din by doing this. I really am. Intimidation tactics for... For a moose, is, it's not going well. Okay, Nikita, she's almost here. She's gonna come right through them. Which is good, it might make them panic. Oh, she running. She's running. She left her calf completely undefended. Okay, Nikita, let's do this. I've got my partner with me. Oh, she's got it. She's got it. She's got it. Oh, and the mother's after me. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, now let go. We've got it on the run. Oh, it hit me. That's nice. Good job. Oh, it hit me again. That, that dude's doing good. It's doing good. Where's the... Oh, there's the mother. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's very large. It's a very... Oh, oh, get it, Nikita. Get it, Nikita. Get it, Nikita. Where are you at, Nikita? That would have been perfect. Oh, it's chasing me. Oh, we got it. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. No, Nikita, don't. This is for the pups. I'm gonna make sure the, the mother isn't chasing us, okay? <laughs> By gosh. Is, is this as fast? Okay, this is as fast as I can go with it. That is so slow. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I think... Hold on. Set this down. Nikita, go home. Go home. I think she can head home faster than I can. No, no, she cannot. <laughs> no! Uh, Nikita, you're terrible. Go faster! Should I leave it? Should I just... How close am I? I don't know. It's getting to that point that I can, like, sprint a little bit. But this thing is heavy! It is heavy, and I have no... I've got no energy left. And Nikita's just terrible. She's good, she's good. But look how slow she is. Like, come on, now... I'm just gonna let her, like, trail along because I can't- I, I don't want to stop and put this down. Because then it would just take longer for me to get back. Okay, I need to keep running. Keep running. I think we're coming up on the den. Oh, there's another ungulate. I don't want to get greedy. I don't need to be greedy about this. I just need to get back to the den. I might come back to this spot, though. Because we are super duper close. Honestly, I think because it's a moose calf, I can't waste that. But we're about to have to go to the rendezvous point. I think what I might do is, as soon as Kenai eats, he's going to hit 15 pounds. And so then, I think I will kind of stay around these, like, grassy areas for a little bit. While we finish up the moose calf. Until it's completely, like, gone or almost gone anyway. Because it's too heavy for me to carry to the new rendezvous point. So, it doesn't make sense to, like, carry it all that way. But I also don't want to leave it after we killed it, you know? That'd just be such a waste of food. We're almost there. She, she's still behind me. She's doing good. <laughs> oh, no. We're almost there. Okay, here we are. Kenai has come out. I can see him. Don't worry. I'm coming very slowly, Kenai. Where are you going, Kenai? I see you. And now Sitka's coming out. We came out at the perfect time. Look, he's right here. He didn't even leave. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> that was dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay, why does the- why does the calf look like that? Can I get it in a different position? Ooh, and see, he took like one bite. Oh, let me set this down. 
No, why is that in this position? That is so weird. Look how like awkward it is. Why isn't it on its side? That's odd. I, mean, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Is that a glitch? I don't know. Either way, they're so big and adorable. Sika is so black too. I wonder what like coat he has. We'll be able to find out whenever I be like can grow them up. Oh my gosh, Kenai, there must be plenty. Oh no, he's wanting to play. I thought he was wanting the food. Okay, so now we no longer need this den. They can no longer go in it. Can I still go in it? Oh, I could have went in like one last time. That would have been cool. Okay, so now the territory still sucks. We have some rendezvous points super close to us. I'm not really all that picky where we go. I might just go for the closest one. But for now, I think I'll go ahead and sleep because I desperately need sleep. And they are so stinking cute, though. They really are. I love when they're this old. I cannot wait until the saga comes out. Okay, what's running near us? Pronghorn. Oh my- No, is that mule deer? I don't know. Whatever it is needs to quit. <laughs> I wonder, can I leave her here with them and go take one down? If I just like do that real quick. Because now I have my energy back. I might just be able to take one down. Grab it real fast. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No, because they're mule deer and they're pretty dang fast. I would love to be able to like take down... Is Nikita trying to come with me? What is she doing? I don't even know what she's doing. Probably eating the moose calf now, though. <laughs> but I have no idea. I've always wanted to, like, get a, uh, a, a, like, actual kill, like an elk or something, and then have the pups, like, camped outside of it. I always thought that would be so cool. And then they could, like, feast on, like, proper meat. Even though, of course, a calf is, like, plenty of meat. Where is the calf? Okay, here it is. We need to come back over here, guys. Or I'll just move it over, actually. Whoa, hold on. Hold on, sir. Where are you going? Okay. Glitchy as all heck. Let's go here, right in between some grasses. So y'all guys can easily find it. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this episode off here, guys, before it gets too long. And we are doing so awesome that I have a lot of hopes for us. Now, we just have to be careful around this time because... Okay. I cannot be greedy, but I do believe I see... What is that? A moose with a calf? Is that true? I think so, because that would be so awesome to take down, but I'm not going to be greedy. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next one.